Hello, welcome back to Average Gamer Plays Factorio. Now, off camera, uh, it's been a few days since I've played, so I'll just try and remember what it is I've actually done off camera. I've pimped out um, the Spider-Tron. I've fully equipped it with more personal robo-ports, and it's now uh, got a... Construction area 69 by 69, it can carry 75 construction robots, so I've got 100 in there. And I've done the same with myself. Added more personal robo, part, robo ports. <clears throat> I also have a construction area 69 by 69, it can carry 75 robots. So, we're now ready take out that personal battery i don't think i need that one there i've got i don't know if i've got too many of these personal batteries um but it is what it is um i'm now in a position of if i have a sh if I show you the map i've been expanding the um, solar panel array. This is now getting quite sizable. I'm going to extend this railway line down here and just sort of rebuild it a bit further along there. Just again, so the robots don't quite have as as far to travel. But these solar panel arrays do go up quite quickly now that I've got this um, this train in place because there is a store of solar panels in the um in fact, let's just wander over there uh, do, 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 do. click there right this spidertron now walks a lot quicker now that i've put some exoskeletons in it um so yeah there's a store of solar panels in the factory and accumulators there's a store of solar panels and accumulators where we are um, building uh, well we're loading the train and then there's another store inside the train and then there's a fourth store where we're unloading the train so we've now got the capability of having sort of quite a few thousand um, in stock so if I have a look at uh, let's just get that out of my hand so you know there's 2,500 in there there's 2,500 in there there's going to be 2,500 in there when it's full there's 2,500 in there when it's full you know there's 2,000 in that one so what I will do is um and let's wander over to there see all these robots have now finished which means they've built this next set right that up with there as well so that is now linked so if i then put down another blueprint the bots from everywhere will pick it up and then they will start flying over to there to pick up their items which is good come on get out of the way of the trees get off the line the most dangerous place to run right so pick up all my stuff um, Oh, I upgraded myself to a submachine gun as well, so... We shoot that very quickly. So now that I've got all that in place, and the advantage of the Spider-Tron is that I can just walk straight over here without getting hit by any trees or being caught by any... Uh, you know, not being able to walk in between any panels or whatever, so I can just walk across this very, very quickly indeed. 
So all this area, I'm just doing this to fill in the map. All this area is now done. I think I've now got, yeah, 108,000. I've got over 100,000 solar panels. So we might still need four or five times as many as I've got here. Um, now what I will do is just put down some more blueprints and build this out to be nearer um, the new train station so that there will be some more roboports all within range. I've put some, a few more bots um, in here. We've now got just over 2,000 construction bots in this network here. Now that I've got plenty of items in stock and plenty of robots, this all gets built rather quickly, which is what I like. So it's now time, I think, <clears throat> to start taking advantage of all this uh, infrastructure that I put down and actually start building um, the factory at the other end. So uh, let's just put a few of those back in there. Um, I'll keep some substations on me because I might need them. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm still not quite finished with uh, infrastructure building. If we have a look um, over in the map on this side, I have done a couple more uh, octagons. Um, but I'm going to start building uh, and I'm not sure whether to do it in this octagon or this square here, but start building a depot for logistics train network. I think I'd prefer... I'll start doing it in the octagon, and in the square. I'll see how much space it takes up. Uh, and I think I'm going to end up having more than one... Um, set of depots around the base, because... Um, you can split logistic train networks into separate numbered networks and I might have network number one going out to the mines and bringing stuff in for smelting and then network number two taking plates uh, from the smelters to um, the uh, factories so that way I can make sure that some trains, so if I have um, a set of depots over here, I know that these trains are only going to come down and out. And if I have another depot further up, I know that these trains are only going to go within the actual um, new base. So I know that a train is not going to come from all the way in the middle of the base to come all the way out to uh, a remote mine down here. For instance, it's going to come from a more um, local depot. Um, I don't know whether that's the best way of doing it. I know that LTN certainly gives us the capability of doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's... Um, now another thing I need to set up with the... Um, with the depot is... Um, refueling and I want to run the trains off nuclear fuel and I'm not making any nuclear fuel I don't think I'm making any rocket fuel at the moment so I need to set up some um, solid fuel production to make the rocket fuel and I need to bring you over and you know, bring over some uranium 235 now I did uh, off screen just have a look at the uranium store that we've got in our, uh, let's just turn the logistic network off. Um, yeah, in here we do have 3000 uranium 235 which should be plenty. So this is still sort of chugging away making uranium. I'm not, I'm not using up any nuclear fuel, I'm, I'm turned off. The nuclear plants so all the fuel that we're all the power that we're getting is coming purely from the solar panel array at the moment now let's see what uh, let's turn my 
robo port off and let's just do a little plan for um how long does a line need to be now i need to um make some ltn train stops so i need to start making more lamps and wires i need to get some copper on me at the moment i'll just use uh normal train stops for now and i will replace them at a later date i think yes so if I were to put, oh, I have to build this as actual lines, okay. So if that goes there, that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, so that goes like to the bottom of there. So I can put a chain signal there and a main signal there. So that length of track is going to be long enough for me to store one of my trains. So I need, uh, I think I've got, um, yeah, there's rails in. So I can put that, uh, put that over there somewhere. So if I have that going up to there, that is going to be one, train length. going to be able to squeeze in another train length up here hmm in theory I can however I want to have eight of these or as many as I can How close can I get these? Because I want to put um, take that off. train there and a train there I want to have a request uh, thing there and that is going to request the nuclear fuel uh, I will just get it to request yeah, it only needs one at a time, I think, because the trains are going to run out of nuclear fuel very rarely. So I think I'll just get that to request one. So. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five. Let's just squeeze as many of those in there as we can. Have I moved there for another one? Yes, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all right. It's not going to squeeze in down there, is it? So I might have to move that over a little bit just to get it to... Although, there is room. I'm not going to have room for two... Um, so I can move all of those... Up to, for example, there. Just take some of those out. So that is going to have to go with that line. That is like the closest I'm going to be able to get it, I think. That should still be long enough for... Let's get this train the right way round. One, two, three. Do I not have any cargo wagons on me? Do I have some in the Spider-Tron? Yes, I do. find where it was but I just want to have those exactly at the end so these aren't going to be long enough to have two trains and if I do want to have two trains I can always I mean I can always build another depot inside <clears throat> inside an octagon if I decide I need more space for it so that should still Join up with that. Okay. Let's copy all of that. Uh, flip it. Let's copy all of that and flip it and do it along there one two three four one two 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. we need to have. Let's just get that all nice and neat up there. So. Flip. Rotate. Look at that. I'm out of rails. <sighs> Spidertron's out of rails as well, so let's have the um, building train for rails. And then let's bring it over to. Oh, it can sit in one of those. Why not? And so that can wait there until it's empty. It should be on its way, yes it is. Now I'm also gonna need Fueling train, which can just come straight up the middle. Oh. Rails out, should just link up straight to that. building was just for building the infrastructure I don't have any stations on me for that interesting 
I would need, I think, the normal building train for the stations. Although I could change that a little bit. Right, so that is one depot. Let's have a look at that on the map. That actually fills this in quite quite a bit. I'm not going to be able to get another one of these side by side inside a square. So I'm going to need different depots for different length trains because these are going to be set up. This only will refuel the first wagon. So what I need to do is set that up to refuel all of them. Um, that's going to need some Power. So let's set those up. Um, yeah, those are within range of that power. That is within range of that power grid uh, power pole. Um, so we basically copy in from the next convenient power and power pole now we're going to need a robo port to yeah the robo port not enough room in there with the power grid but the robo port can sort of go down there and it's still going to be within range of everything so Put another power hole down there. And come on, trains in the way. That one can go over there, and then that one. Yes, yeah, the logistics. It's the it's the orange area that we need to have covered. So I'm going to have to do that, and that's going to have to go there. be the refueling all these are going to be called they're all going to be given the same name they're all going to be given like LTN depot 38 um, I don't think I need to put the network name in um, in the train station name I think that'll be sort of encoded within the combinator um, but let's get some should power everything there we need some logistics robots not mining drills um, I think five is going to be enough because even if one of these trains runs out of nuclear fuel There'll be enough nuclear fuel in the other two trains to keep it going for another journey until this is as 
the bots have restocked all the uh, requester chests. So as long as there is uh, for this uh, so let's just take up so that is going to be a refueling train there and that is going to unload to a passive provider chest now we need sort of nine nine eights are 72 times two is 144 um i'm only going to be putting there's only 24 of those i think yeah there's 24 so I'm only requesting sort of 48. The nuclear fuel only stacks to one. So I'll have that as a full stack of nuclear fuel. That'll be fine. Um, let's just put the ghost of that one back there so it does get built eventually. Yeah. That should work as a logistics train station depot. Now, maybe I do need to... Um, Why is that red? That's better. Don't need those there. So the trains can come in and they will look at these signals here to work out which line they can go on. But what else do I have on the Spidertron that I can actually use? I don't have any... Uh, I do have ten more train stops. Right. These aren't going to be replaced with LTN train stops, but still. So I will bookmark, I will blueprint this as um, an LTN 38 depot, because I think I'm going to need quite a few of these. Um, I mean, I could have two depots um, will I have enough room for another depot for four trains let's uh, Ooh, not quite. Just one or two rails off. So I could have another depot side by side for another sort of six trains with three on each side. There'll be enough room for that. Or... I could just make this wider and have it 11 on each side. Yeah, I'll just have it 11 on each side. There's no reason why I picked eight. And then just move the entrance and exit sort of to be more central.
No reason why I can't do that. Okay, I'll do that off camera, I think. Just expand it to be 11 on each side and then make it a bit more centralized inside the, uh, the square. Right, so I need to find, I need to be making some solid fuel. So there's some oil down here. Um, that is 3,731, so right, let's add a tag. Solid fuel. Uh, let's have that. So I shall mine this and there's coal there as well so i could even use the coal liquefaction once this i don't think it will the, the amount of solid fuel we're going to need for nuclear fuel and i'm going to train in the nuclear uh so i might move steel production somewhere else so we're going to have um incoming u235 Actually, we'll do uh, drop off because then I know that it's going to be that, and I'm going to have that as so that can go there because then the train can sort of come in on this side and then go back that away. Steel production. I will, how do I remove a tag? Right, uh, yeah, let's just delete that. I don't think I can move a tag. So we'll have, so plastic production is near there. Some copper, iron, uh, iron smelting. Is over there. I might have steel smelting. Depends how much. Right. So let's move over to. Let's move over this way and put down some um, iron and steel smelters and just see how much space they take up. I've got to give myself space for the uh, a train station to come in, but we will have. Um, and I think I might just use uh, eight beacons. Right, eight beaconed steel. You see, there's quite a lot of space inside here. I think I'll have that sort of going uh, if I have uh, I mean I can always sort of move these around one two Four. Eight. Eight steel. Does that have? Yes, it does have some. See, we're a nice team. Right, eight steel. Uh, 
and then if I have um, beacon smelting I could do it that way and one two get my building train to sort of I can set up a building train station and just have that now have I got enough room in there to have my uh, loading station and my trains so hmm, let's have a think so these stations, these areas might actually, you know, you think you're going to have plenty of space inside here, but it might still be too small. It's always worth wandering around a little bit more because you never know what you're missing in terms of signals. So that's how big my smelting area will look but I still need to be able to get the rails in and the unload stations um, mm -mm -mm. Right, let's do a rails in that sort of coming down now I'll have a I've not put any radars down here, so I don't think I can just sort of pick that up. All right. Gonna need and I need me railway train. Of 
Now then, that is the end of the steel <coughs> with the copper, um, the iron ore coming in. So if I put that station there, again that should be enough for one, two, three, one, two, three. Eight unloaders, eight cargo wagons for that. And then I'm going to need that to sort of go back in. Come on. back into there and then I'm going to need the same again that never quite got finished did it because there were some signals in the way If I have, can I duplicate this? I could have that sort of going there, but it's not enough space because that gets in the way of that. So let's undo that. So what I'm going to have to do is, let's do this way. going to sort of overlap slightly. I have that train up out. Uh, even have it sort of as far down as there, can't I? So let's just put the train in for the sake of argument. Where's my spider tron? There it is. Do I have any more cargo wagons on there? Yes, I do. So that will have uh, unload station for oars for the um, 
iron smelting and this is going to unload ore for steel smelting although because they're both working off iron ore can i just have no it's the same as just having one train with a stacker really isn't it because we're going to need the trains coming in as often as they need to come in so i might as well just leave it as two separate trains i think or two separate stations now have I got enough room to actually unload these now or have I built this line too close to the other one I might have built it too close Yeah. It is not the end of the world. Um, now, there could well be more efficient unloaders, and I will look into this. But I've found that this design um has worked well for me in the past although there was something i did i think i might still have it on my sandbox world where um you can get lots of stations sort of close together but um let's just pick up some of these That only needs to be moved over one, one set, one tile. So that's not too bad, really, is it? You need to have it lined up with the tracks. So now that that is, let's just see how far. That can come down as far as there. If I wanted to get it to go lower, then I'd have to make sure that those undergrounds went in between the carriages instead of yeah I have to go like that but we shall see 
if we can squeeze that in over there and then still have get the curve right um, have to come down a little bit more go there and then uh, that will be in between the last two carriages so that's not I might have to do some little uh, filling about with the undergrounds to get everything to go um, now um, I'm gonna need to squeeze in ideally I'm not going to have room for this, am I? Eight, eight balancers. And of course, I need to squeeze in the unloading stations at the other end. So it is interesting to see that when you're mapping this out and you're building this, you think, oh, yeah, there's plenty of space inside there. And then when you actually try and build something in it, you find that there actually isn't. So I might have to rebuild the smelting area inside um, just build everything uh, inside the uh, the large octagons and leave the little rectangles empty we'll have to see uh, if there's anything I can squeeze in because it's not so much the space it takes for the actual factory as you can see that fits in there nice and easily it's the space you need for the uh, stations and also for things like uh, balancers so I'm going to need an 8 to 8 balancer on the unload and another 8 to 8 balancer on the load again on the other side. So I will plan that out. I might build the whole thing in the middle of this octagon and see how much space it takes and then copy and paste and move it um, wherever it needs to go. So I'll find an area. I might not do it inside this octagon because it's already these stone... Um, smelters in the way i'll do it inside this octagon where i've got lots of space to play around with and i'll fill in these two there's a couple of missing um power poles but on the whole we're doing very well i think i still need some rails built over there so if i'm not going to be able to use the um the octagon, the rectangles for very, very much. I mean, just little bits here and there. Um, it's the things with the um, the stations that take up more of the space. So we'll have to factor that into the build. And I think building on this scale is a reasonable thing to do. I don't think these octagons and anything are, are, are too big at all. Um, so I think I'm on the right lines. It's just a case of... Uh, putting the rest of the stuff in so I'll uh, I'll tidy up this um, depot offline and I'll work out how much space I need to get you know the ins and outs of this uh, smelting area and I shall come back when I've fixed those problems so for now I'll say see you next time <laughs>